switch back with the wiring all and do it. Oops, almost lost it. Oh, you dirty, rotten bolt! Bolt! How could you break off? You dirty, rotten mother! Oh, dirty, rotten! How dare you break? Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Not again! Oh, man alive! Son of a... Oh, I can't believe it broke off! Jesus! No wonder I'm the disgruntled mechanic! Hey, folks. It's your favorite 98 percenter on YouTube, Mike the Disgruntled Mechanic. Now, I am sort of disgruntled this week. Didn't have a good time at work. You know, you ever have one of them times where no matter what you do, it just doesn't go right? That was work this week. But, be that as it may, what I wanted to talk about today is I have a Blizzard snow plow. It's a 8000 HD and um, I had to replace the switches. This is a, a what you want to call a, a whole mount, unimount. You can drop the whole plow, the motor, everything right off and all you have is a little bit of frame left. Lights, everything come off. Part of this design is they have switches to when you're out here to mount the plow. I'll show where they're at and stuff, but they have switches here to mount the plow, which is your um, up and down, and then what you do is when you're out here working on it, you have a momentary switch which you have to hold over to do your up and down to mount it, and then when you're using the cab controls, you take the switch and you put the switch over to all the time on. So um, that's what you have to do out here so you can use your inside controls. So in other words, you have uh, a momentary on, all the time on switch, and you have a momentary on, momentary on switch for your up and down, or your plow out, just out here when you're mounted, when you're putting the plow on the truck. Um, maybe at some point, uh, actually I have, to, I have to dismount the plow later today. Maybe I'll take the camera along and, and, and I'll do that. But, so what I had to do is I had to replace these switches. Now, um, I'll, I'll get to showing the switches and what I did. When I bought switches from the local dealer, they charged $76 a piece for these switches, which I just thought was outrageous. Um, so what I did was I went to an online supplier and I bought the same momentary on switch and momentary on uh, on switch for sixteen dollars a piece now that's a hell of a savings and I had to do a little modifications to make them work but my plow is only five years old so remember that when I show you these uh, switches the old switches when I show them to you and what they look like and the other thing is when and I'll explain all this but I want to do it ahead of time and the other thing is when you have a problem with the wiring on the back of the switch you can't get on to the wiring behind the switch because of the way the plow is designed so you actually have to unscrew the switch from the front pull the switch out pull the wiring and everything out and then work on the switch put the switch hole back in with the wiring connected um, and I'll show you how all this becomes an issue and a problem here um, actually I'll probably do that now what I'm gonna do is first I'll show you the old switches and what they look like so here we are with the old switches here is where the wiring went through and it was spade connectors that went in it was spade yeah connectors that went into this connector and then your your uh, switch just plugs right into it like that so now to get this plug off where it's on the plow you, you it, it's almost impossible you have to screw the, the the switch off pull the switch back with the wiring all and do it oops almost lost it now this one isn't as bad but this is the exterior that's mounted and I'm I, I'm not sure how the cameras picking it up but if you see how crusty that is to unhook this to be able to pull this back out of the plow to get at your wiring is a pain and I had a situation where I needed to do that and get the wiring and the plug back in and I couldn't uh, because this was so this was so crapped up and so rusted um, and these actually come with a little bit of a, with a boot on 
and um, a rubber boot over it and it still got that corroded and that crusty from uh, just the, the exposure. The plow, I've, I think I've used the plow five winters I've had it. So anyhow, this is where your wiring comes into this, then this goes on your switch. Okay, so now we got all that. Like I said, one's a, one's a, um, uh, you got to hold it for on, and it'll stay on if you go the other way. And this is, you got to hold it for on. Well, you can, I, I think you can see, look, look how, I mean, th this thing hard, hardly pushes going up. So it was time for them to be changed anyhow. So we did that. So now on to the truck to show you what goes on there. Now down here is the new switches that I have mounted. And those are the ones that I bought and they're not, they didn't come from the dealer. They just came from a supply house. Now what you've got to do to get to these is they're back underneath here. And it's a hard angle to get to. But the wiring comes hitting it here. This, you know, this is that long. And to get in here to them, your fingers aren't long enough you can't see what you're doing you can't get your head in there it's just tough to do so you can't get to these wiring sockets and stuff back in here so you basically have to take you know everything loose here push your switch back pull the whole thing back from here and go to your wiring so there was a little mod modification involved and I'm going to show you what the modification was and how I did it right now now this is the back of the old switch and you can see how your your prongs are on there and here's the one on the new switch now everything's pretty much the same you know you just you can you can basically line them up and you can see where that says on and on the new one here and you know here's your old one it is longer but that doesn't matter you can mount it up or down so uh, I mean the way it mounts you got you got room to do it the length didn't matter so you could do that the only thing that did matter was on the new one this had a bigger collar back behind here so that collar wouldn't allow the switch to push through to get your threads out far enough to thread it on so what I what I did was now these are modified these have already been modified but what I did was I took that collar down with a Dremel and kept taking it down and taking it down and taking it down plus since I'm gonna use these anyhow I made the holes where my switches are mounted on the plow a bit bigger so you know now and, and these being modified and taken down they'll fit right right in those holes with no problem so then the other modification that I had to make was as I said your wires were in these sockets here to go to your your old style switch so basically what I did was I just took and took the spade connectors out because you only use three wires you know and and depending on which which switch you're doing you have up and down and ground in the middle or you have on or momentary on when you hold it so if you pop those out and your middle one here your middle one here is your ground so you just put your ground spade right on there you get rid of you get rid of this socket that's what I did you put that on there and then wherever you know it, it doesn't matter which wire you really put put where or you'll find out you know if it were the way you mount this um, it, you just follow that and I, and I put the always on wire where it should be and the momentary on where it should be and the same way with this one you know it, it's the same way on, on this switch you take the wiring socket off and basically you know you put that on your um, you put uh, your, your, your common or your ground on there and then once you're up and once you're down and the good thing with this if you get your up and down screwed up just turn it around which is what I did because then I had the, the wires on the side here so basically all I did was I'll run through it real quick just took the sockets off the old one took the, the, the spade connectors off, put them on my new switches, cut the switches down. I drilled the holes a little bit bigger so I didn't have, because it was tough. I did these another way to get them down, but with the Dremel tool it was taking quite a while to get these down so I drilled the holes bigger. But now I have two new switches that will are, are ready to go in if these switches go bad. And what I'm going to do, and whether it's wrong or whether it's right, I'm going to put a little bit of this on the outside of the switches to keep the water from going in there because these switches don't have the boots on. I'm not too sure how long they'll last in this weather. We'll see. 
but the one thing about those switches these new switches that I got the replacement switches um, they are what they call wash down switches they are supposed to be you know take some water and this and that so we'll see how the connections do on the back without having the socket over it and we'll also see how these switches do as far as getting crudded up like this old one did when you you know you couldn't hardly push it the one direction anymore and I think it was up you couldn't hardly it wouldn't make connection so it was time for them to be replaced so I guess the thing is you know the moral of the story um, if you can get something else to work uh, that that's what I did we'll see how long they last they they work they work fine now um, with without a problem so uh, We'll we'll just see how long how long the stuff lasts, and um, maybe I'll make a video of me taking this plow off and and possibly putting it back on. Um, so uh, once again, this is your favorite ninety eight percenter on YouTube, Mike, the disgruntled mechanic, saying, if you can get somebody else to do it, you're probably better off. Till next time, folks. Thanks.